Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Mudeck. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be doing a beautiful, a fun, start to finish, beginner friendly install. Now this one comes courtesy of Mega Look and they've been hitting it on the, how do I say it? They've been hitting the nail on the head with the colored wigs. You guys already know I did a cute little like reddish burgundyish vibe from them last week and then I have another one coming pretty soon and that's going to be another fun color. But for this one I kind of just wanted like a 90s theme vibe. I have the oversized t-shirt from Fashion Nova. I'm on some baggy Nike sweats and I just felt like this look set it off. I'm going to be doing everything with you from start to finish. You're going to see what it looks like set as a center part and the vibes. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and check the description box for a direct link and all the details and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it okay let's get started ladies so this is the wig straight out of the box this is a 13 by 4 transparent lace balayage loose deep wave wig it is 24 inches in length and then this is the look at the inside construction of the cap i love the fact that it's free parting so you can part literally from ear to ear and you're not restricted also they included an elastic band inside and this is going to help the wig to fit a little bit more snug here we are trying her on for size and just getting her right. want to make sure I show you guys what she looks like from the back. I love how defined the curls are, but we are going to like loosen them up and rough them up a bit. You guys already seen in the intro, I kind of wanted to look a little bit more natural and like frizzy or textured if you will so that it just looks a lot more natural. Now with the balayage, it does have that dark root and this is what it looks like as a center part. I'm going to go ahead and start the install process. Not going to do any customizations today. We're going to work with what they provided and it definitely came out amazing as you guys already seen in the beginning. If you don't feel comfortable cutting off the lace on the head or you're just a little bit confused about it i highly recommend investing in a wig head um, and that way you can do that step on your wig head before you put the wig on here i am tinting the lace i did purchase the new viral makeup by mario um, foundation and so i'm using the darker shade that i purchased if you guys follow me on tiktok you've seen the whole review um, i buffed that just into the hairline and then i went ahead and let that dry put the wig back on sipped my coffee a little bit and now we are applying the wig we're going for even today you guys already know the red one is my fave it's active which means it's more of a glue um base but it's liquid spray i'm not quite sure what active means but i'm pretty sure it means glue so it's like a liquid spray aerosol glue opposed to like you know like a holding spray so here I'm deciding what style I wanted to do. I definitely wasn't feeling a center part today. You guys know I've been trying to get more into like fun styles and not just center part and that's it. So I'm definitely going to be doing center part like more often um, with this wig than like half up half down. But I just was feeling the vibe of the half up half down. And then I also wanted to do some little bangs in the front. I'm not sure these are called bangs when you have the little two pieces coming down in the front. But we're going to call them bangs today just because I don't know um if there is a specific name for them i want the hairline to look as natural as possible without going in and plugging or tweezing anything so i did go ahead and add a generous amount of the wax along the entire hairline and i'm just going to go ahead and press it out as much as i can i even added that um wax stick to the bang and i pressed that out too because again since it's a dark root it can definitely look a lot more wiggy um than if it was like a natural brown or even the blonde so i want to make sure that it just looks really really good and you know very tasteful and you know i'm trying to look bomb i gotta you know what i'm saying i'm representing myself i gotta look good you know so here i am just going in and adding that lace tint to the entire perimeter of the hairline as i mentioned i did put it under but because i you know blow dried it and did so many other steps i wanted to just make sure it was a lot more pronounced so i did apply it and i'm gonna let that oxidize and just set on its own and then add a little bit of powder towards the very end or actually you know what i didn't add the powder but off camera i added powder just to make it look a lot more perfect when doing this go ahead and use like a towel or something to blend it out then i wand curled my bangs and kind of pulled the hair out and it came out absolutely beautiful 10 out of 10 would highly recommend his vibes or no i got the big oversized t-shirt got the half up half down with like the natural like crinkle style i don't know for some reason it just gives 90s vibe with like my baggy nike sweats i have on and then of course i do some heavy lip liner this is chestnut but of course it needs to be 
second what's new anyways let's talk about the hair we already know this one came from mega look they've been hitting it on the nail i did another um review from their company it was like a burgundy color the other day and that one was a vibe too you guys loved that one and um this one doesn't disappoint either they do very well with the colored wigs and so i'm excited to see more like com color combos coming from this company i do have one more collaboration with them next month and it's going to be an even more fun color but for this one let's just stay on task i do kind of feel a little bit away about the fact that i curled these and the rest of the hair is more of a wavy or crimped type of style so if you do want to make this match this but still like control it you could of course braid it and then you know um Put a little mousse or something like that and just let it sit and then of course take it out for the natural crimp or you can use a crimping iron for me i just went ahead and did what i did and i kind of like the op the what do you call it, like spontaneous vibe from just going ahead for it i think it still looks amazing but again if that like bugs you um and then you want to like make it a little bit more like style or tame since it's in your face go ahead and crimp it or braid it and you'll be good to go color combo is off the chain of course I did a dark root and that kind of helps to make it look a lot more natural. I feel like I can go in with a little powder right here, but I kind of don't. Let me know what you guys think of this one. As far as the length, it is 22, or I'm sorry, 24 inches. All the rest of the details are in the description box as well as like the direct link and all of that. This right here is the dust bag the wig came in. And then here's a nice little goodie bag, just melt belt. Um, lashes, wig cap, and then um, an edge brush in there. I think that's all in there. Oh, and then like a cute little um, clip in the shape of scissors. So I'm going to let you guys go. I don't want to talk you guys to death in the outro. Be sure to check the description box. Everything you need to know you can find there. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!